Yay, it's anti jokes. There were two muffins in an oven, along with about 10 more, because muffin pans have 12 molds in them. What do you call a deer with no eyes? Unlikely to survive. Damn, Yuri, that was dark. What's the quickest way to a man's heart? Through the third and fourth rib. I take it back. That one's dark. Why was the clown crying? Because he was going through a hard time and couldn't hold in his feelings. He had to let it out. Can't believe ducks wrote that joke. You know what I can't stand? One-legged tripods. What do you call a black man in an office? A respectable man working hard to feed his wife and kids. Racist. What keeps the doctor away? Nothing, unless you want your body to deteriorate without knowing. Well, you heard the doc. Where did the Italians come from? Italy. What were you expecting? What is yellow, and if it hits your eye, you're dead? A school bus. What do you call a meta-anti-joke? The language form that sets up a joke, but the punchline isn't a punchline at all, and it's just a realistic answer or explanation not intended to be humorous, thus making the joke anti. It also makes it meta if it refers to itself. So I guess you could call this comment a meta-anti-joke. Good one. Knock knock. Who's there? Billy. Billy who? Billy begins sobbing as he discovers his grandmother's Alzheimer has worsened to the point where she can no longer remember her favorite grandson. Tragic. A Japanese serial killer, an American hitman, and a deaf extremist walk into a bar. They struggle to communicate due to language barriers. Oh. It's sad. It's like water, but purple. Purple water. What do you call a blind dinosaur? By his name, it's incredibly insensitive to mock handicapped people and handicapped dinosaurs. Check yourself next time, bitch. Why did the chicken cross the road? To come up with an Andy joke so they're featured and become popular, but won't claim that in the replies. Well, dead channel, do I have good news for you? Yeah.